while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I know we in what is known as the wild, wild hunters. It used to be a time on the south side where people would be outside. Now you ride through the hunters and you don't see nobody no more because it's too dangerous. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Read. Train up a child. Do what? Train up a child. God said we must train our children. You cannot leave a child by himself or he will get into evil or she will get into evil. So sis, this information that we going over, our community needs this. So, you got missing fathers, you got mothers running the street, the child left alone, a monster is made. So what do we have to do as parents? Proverbs 22 verse 6. What do we have to do as parents? Let's see what God tells us to do as parents. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Are not we in what is known as the wild, wild hunters? It used to be a time on the south side where people would be outside. Now you ride through the hunters and you don't see nobody no more because it's too dangerous. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, and verse 6. Read. Train up a child. Do what? Train up a child. God said we must train our children. You cannot leave a child by himself or he will get into evil or she will get into evil. Read that again. Train up a child in the way he should go. It said train up a child. Sis, what's your name right here? Tanisha. The Bible says God said we must train up our children in the way that they should go. Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Uh huh. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And when he is old, he won't forget the ways that you taught him. Even if he go off a little bit, even if he stumble, he gonna remember what you taught him. Read that again. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart. From it. So what is the way that we supposed to train the child up in? Psalms 119 and verse 1. I'm listening to you. What's the ways we supposed to train the child up in? In the right way. Dignity, class, okay. um, structure, okay. discipline. Okay. Um, listen to your child also too. You know a lot of, a lot of, um, Children don't like to listen to, cause it's like a lot of older people. They they make it seem like kids ain't got no like no matter they own. When it's like even though they young, it's like they still a soul. So they still got matter they own. So you know most of the time, how I get younger people to listen to me, I get a voice. You know, it's still you you could implement that structure and you could be ha have um you know you could be you could be um, grounded with them and have structure with them, but you also got the let them have some type of sense of identity too, because it's like they, they getting to know themselves. You know what I mean? A lot of parents want their kids to be them. You can't make your kids be you. Okay, that was good what you said. You do gotta talk to the child and hear them out. You do, to a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain extent. But you still supposed to teach them the way that they supposed to walk in this earth so they don't get in the situation. So we finna show you what is the way we supposed to teach our kids. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 1. Read. Blessed are the undefiled in the way uh -huh. who walk in the law of the Lord. Read that again. What is the way? Because remember, in Proverbs 22 and 6, it said, Train a child up in the way that they should walk. What is the way? Read it again. Blessed are the undefiled. In the way. It said, blessed are the undefiled in the way. When you live an undefiled life, you'll be doing this. Read. Who walk in the law of the Lord. Walk in what? The law of the Lord. Did you hear that, sis? 
It said we got to walk in the law of the Lord. So what is some of the laws of God? What's some of God's rules? What's going on, sir? We talking about God's rules right now. What's some rules of God? Keep a beard. That's one. What about for the woman? Yep. You ain't know that was in the Bible? Leviticus 21 and 5. We finna go through it. Because Proverbs 22 and 6, it said, train up a child in the way that he should go. Proverbs 22 and 6 says, train up a child in the way that he should go. What about keeping the beard? Keeping the beard. We finna go to that. That's why I'm going now. Right? So it said, blessed is the undefiled in the way who walk in the way of the Lord. So we finna get the laws. That's what the beard is. It's a rule. Read that. Leviticus 21 and 5. Because you were shocked when you heard that. When he said a beard, you like, wait, what? We finna get the... You talking about the hair on your head? You, yeah, that's probably what you talking about. Having braids and all that. We'll show you that. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21... In verse 5. First, we finna show you this. Because when my brother mentioned it, he said a beard. That is one of God's rules for the man. That's why if you look at all the men out here, we got our facial hair. Not because it's a fashion statement. In my line, brother's growing a beard now because it's a fashion statement. But that is a law of God. That's right. So, speaking of that, in the churches, they supposed to be the men of God. Do they have beards on their face? Absolutely not. Face be clean, shaven. But let's show you that in the Bible, that that is in the Bible. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Oh, yeah. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So the Israelite man, right here on this sign. Come down, come down, come down. Bro, don't go nowhere. My brother with that. Don't go nowhere, bro. Come talk to me, bro. Come talk to me, bro. You on this sign right here. All these people on this sign have to do what God tells them to do. So one of the rules for the man is not to shave their head bald. That's something else. That's a fashion statement. Shaving your head bald. All the celebrities do it. Steve Harvey, Tyrese. Who else? Charles Barkley. That's a fashion statement to cut your head bald. But what does the Bible say? They should not make boldness upon their head. So we're not supposed to shave our head, Paul. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's why he said that. That's in the Bible. You didn't know that. Because I saw your face. Like, what? That's in the Bible. The Israelite man on that sign, those men there, the 12 tribes, they are not supposed to shave their face bald. Why? Because God says so. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Read on. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. I know you know what that means. What that mean? <laughs> tattoos. Did you hear that? No tattoos. I didn't know that either, but guess what? Piercings. Where piercings come from? That come from the other races of people. Let's first deal with this first. Read that again. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, uh -huh. nor make any cuttings in their flesh. No tattoos. When I heard that, I did it. Why? Why though? Why did I do it? First John 5 and 3. This is what it boiled down to. And even you, don't go nowhere, bro. This is what it boiled down to. Do you love God? That's it. Because if you really love God, you're going to do what God tell you to do. Right. Read that. 1 John 5 and 3. 1 John 5, verse 3. Read. This is the book of 1 John. Chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. How you love God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. That's how you show your love for God, sis. Did you hear that? You got to do what God tell you to do. So if God say no tattoos, is you going to get some more tattoos? It's just that simple. Prime example. Let's use this. 
if a man say he love you, right, but he lied to you, he cheat on you, and he steal your money, does he love you? How is he showing you he don't love you? So, when you don't do what God says to do, do you love him? You see that? So you got to show God you love him by doing what the Bible says. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is 